Jasmine Burkett has died aged 28. The star, known as Jazz, was formerly a BBC reality star, having appeared in the show Small Teen Big World in 2010, which followed her life as a teenager with dwarfism. Jasmine's fiancé Louis Burke confirmed the death of the star in a heartbreaking statement. It read, She is the most incredible human that ever walked this planet, she is the strongest, funniest, most kindest and purely decent person I've ever known. I am truly devastated. She changed my life forever and it'll never be the same, sick, he ended his statement. Jamie's cause of death has not yet been confirmed. 3 feet 11 inches Jasmine starred on the BBC show Small Teen Big World to document her life as a teenager living with dwarfism. She starred on the program alongside her mum Bev, who died in 2014. Jasmine and Lewis lived in a tent in Woodland Dater struggling to find a suitable council property. They documented their life in Bodel with on, then by Shira with their dog on social media. Addressing their living situation, Jasmine previously said to North Wales Live, I think tent life has saved us and made us. Of course there are downsides as I am a bit more vulnerable with my health history. Some of the days over the summer living next to a river are some of the happiest I've ever spent. I like being away from people quite a lot and just being amongst nature, she added. Small Teen Big World aired in July 2010 as part of BBC Three's adult season. It was watched by 1.1 million viewers and was later seen by two. 76 million viewers when it aired on BBC One two months later. A four-part series titled Small Teen Bigger World was aired the next year which saw Jasmine turn 17. Following the success of the series, Jasmine went on to publish her autobiography in 2013. After Lewis shared the heartbreaking news, he shared a follow-up post on their joint Facebook page. He wrote, Thank you all for the kind words, I genuinely appreciate it all. He went on to ask for fans to stop messaging him as he tries to understand what has happened.